Hey guys, welcome back to Tropicana Bonsai. I'm gonna repot this bonsai and restyle it. All right, we got this YouTube famous bonsai tree. You heard it right here. This is the first bonsai tree that I ever had on YouTube. And I did the restyling on it and everything. But today we're gonna repot it into that pot, do a little bit of styling. And I did a, another video about how I almost burnt it. Um, if you're interested in that and how you can almost burn a bonsai tree by accident, and you do it on purpose, click on that video. I'll leave the link in the description. So I got the root rake and I mean get uh, all the soil out, loosen it up to get it out of the pot. Like this pot is okay. It's a plastic pot. It's just very deep. It'll be great for developing it more. I just feel like I like to have all my trees in, in a bonsai pot. It's just me, I feel like it looks way better. Even though the development would be better in a deeper pot, I just like that nice aesthetic look that I'll have. So here I'm pulling it out, and as you can tell, there's a lot of roots that I probably have to remove and get rid of the, some of that old soil. Just in case you're wondering what's underneath the bonsai tree, it's actually an oil catch pan from Dollar Tree. Um, I think it's perfect because it holds all the soil on and doesn't get anything messy. Here I'm going to rook it out and I'm going to hit it with a fast cam. Also getting to this point, it's important to rook out the, the middle of the tree, the, consider the root ball, because a lot of dirt actually stays within there and you want to get that out. You want to just get all that old soil out of there, especially with the ficus. Uh, it's one of those uh, species that you can remove a, a lot of the old soil and repot it. And nothing really would happen. It's not like one of those pines or junipers that really need those microbials in the soil to help out the tree. Um, and it's just in a stage of recovery from the repotting. So even with ficuses, if you really want to, you can dump it into water, clean out all the roots and see all the structure. But today, I'm not going to do that. I don't think that's necessary. I just want to just keep as much roots on and I don't feel like it's completely necessary. Also, I'm removing all this cocoa peat is because I grow mostly indoor and I kind of need a looser soil because I don't want to overwater my trees and get root rot. That's how I've killed most of my bonsai trees actually. So doing this would prevent that. At this point, I'm gonna start misting the tree because as you start removing soil from the from the roots, it also takes away moisture from the soil that was in initially. And since it's exposed to the air, it's gonna dry out the roots quicker. So you wanna just mist them. And right here, I'm gonna just test fit it to see if I need to trim any more roots. All right, I made the decision for my bonsai. Um, now I'm gonna add soil to my to the pot. Um, my soil mixture is pumice, turfus, and a little bit of tree bark. Bringing the bonsai over, as you can notice, there's long roots. I'm gonna trim those off because those aren't really necessary. And I want the roots to grow out symmetrically throughout its growing period. And also when cutting them back, is going to be more beneficial because you're going to start growing the feeder roots which means is roots that ramify more which more roots are ramified the more roots that can actually absorb more nutrients throughout the soil i'm going to start tying down the tree sometimes i wish i had daniel san helping me hold on this tree um, it's actually, for me, it's always one of the most difficult parts for me is tying down the tree to the pot. Um, it's super beneficial and I highly recommend it to anyone because when you repot a tree, it's hard for the roots to stay in such loose soil. So the tree actually stays better in the loose soil and when it grows out, it's going to be way better. And you want your tree to be sturdy in the pot because you don't want it to move around. If you have it in outside, if there's wind, there could be so many factors and there's so many more benefits of tying it down. God only gave you two hands, but Daniel son, where are you at?
I basically have the tree all set up. So now what I'm going to do is add in the soil, cover up the roots. Um, as you, I'm putting the soil in, I want you to notice how loose my soil is. That's how loose I want my soil to be, and I recommend to have your soil that loose too. And the benefits of this is you can almost water every day without having the fear of your over, over watering your tree. I've had many cases of root rot, especially because I have indoor trees and I love to water my trees. It looks basically done. I just to retouch some roots that you can tell that are out of the soil. So I'm gonna cover them up with uh, with more soil. As I'm zooming in, you can tell that some branches are just out of place, just pointing up. So I'm gonna fix those, just bend them back where they're supposed to be. I'm just gonna fast forward this. It's just bending wires back down. So we're not done yet. The right side looks pretty good, but the left side we have to bend those branches back down and maybe cut some branches off like we did on the right side. But since the soil is so loose uh, and dry, we need to add water in so the roots don't completely dry out on us. So what we want is the roots to be fully soaked and we can tell by that when the water comes out from underneath the drainage holes. We're basically done right here. Final touches are done. Um, this is the final product of the work. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, comment down below any questions you guys have, and um, stay in tune. I'll update more videos. Um, thank you for subscribing and sharing.